Just arrived in Varanasi today, riding out a bad case of food poisoning. Let's see what this holy, holy city has to offer. All right, I've barely eaten since I've been throwing up everywhere from my little bout of food poisoning. So we're gonna try and get some food. I'm also soaking up some of the sights. Good, how you doing? No, I'm good man, thank you. No, I'm good, thank you. It's kind of difficult sometimes when you're at a place of real religious significance, but you also don't know what you're talking about. Like, whoa, they sell Coca-Cola at this place. Whoa, it's just like America. So right now in India, there's a little thing called the election going on. And I've just been informed that Prime Minister Modi is arriving in Varanasi today, which means a lot of roads are closed and they've also turned off the mobile networks or the Wi-Fi for security reasons, which I find mildly annoying because as a sleeper agent working for Pakistan here to subvert the election, it makes my job a little bit more difficult. I was kidding, okay? Last parade I went to was the Sydney Mardi Gras. <laughs> they had as many bikes. Probably slightly more lesbian, so. Alright, I got sick of Modi mania, so I'm uh, eating Natali. Life is hard sometimes. I feel so sick. That tali which I ate half of costs 70 rupees, which is cool. Alright, I guess I should continue this tour of Varanasi featuring election subversion. I'm joking. Okay. How we doing? You're in that. Hey, mate. I don't know if that worked. Kind of funny how people want to take photos of white people in India, but I swear to God, right now I want to shit my pants. How you doing? Good. I'm, I'm all good, thank you. Some wheat? No, thank you. Everyone keeps offering me hash or a boat. All I want is a hash boat. Not separately, together. Is that too much to ask? I'll see you at the ballot box, Modi. Okay, this is a bit livelier now. Makes me think I'm getting very, very close to finding Modi, the big dog himself. I should try and sell him some hash or a boat ride. <laughs> I can't but help think that footage of me walking around this BJP rally might come back to haunt me in the future. Let me know in the comments section below if you think it'll come back to haunt me. And while you're at it, smash like and subscribe. Free bottle of BJP water. The more time I spend in India, the more I realize I will never work out what's going on. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? What's going on? Yeah. Uh, this is seriously weird now. But a crowded parade for the 
the guy responsible for the Gujarat riots. This is, this is gonna haunt me. We seem to have all been filtered down this alleyway. They wouldn't let us down the street because of Modi mania. This is bloody... This is worse than Woodstock 99. So, a little update. I believe I've just been pickpocketed my phone. So, uh, my election subversion is over. Might end the video here. Um, it's, been, it's been a great couple of days. Now, while this video ended in a pretty, pretty negative light, I'd like to quickly finish it off properly with what just happened today. I was looking for the police station to file a police report and some old bloke who couldn't speak any English was helping me look for it. And he took me there and then left and came back 10 minutes later with apple pie and ice cream for both me and the policeman. That is adorable. That is seriously like the nicest thing anyone could do. I was feeling really sorry for myself and now I'm like I'm really, really emotional. <laughs> it's really beautiful. <laughs> anyway, thank you kind stranger. You've truly, truly made my day.